Hey guys, welcome to the BD Themes widget tutorial. Today we are going to show you how to use HGate widget presented by Element Pack Pro. Let's learn everything about it. It is an easy matter of dragging and dropping to bring the widget in the title of the post section or to your page. As soon as you drop it, a pop-up box will appear where it asks for permission to view the web page at an age limit, a field for inserting age and a button to submit. Only after submit the required age, you are permitted to serve the page. You can customize the model or pop-up box from the layout section under the content tab. Notice that there's a scroll bar for adjusting the model width. Let's drag the scroll bar to adjust the total model width as we see fit. Then there's a field for times expiry limit in hour, 72 for default, within the time limit, anyone submitting the age gate successfully will not see the pop-up box again. Once the time limit is up, the user will have to submit the form once again. Below are two switchers for model header and footer either to show them or not. Turning off the footer switcher will immediately hide the model footer from displaying. Let's revert the changes. Now go to the model header section. Here you will see the header text field and an alignment option for the content. Just change the text to anything, for example, age verification and set the alignment as shown, just into the center. Let's move to the model content section. This field here carries the model description. Just put the words you need to display on the age gate pop-up. Next, go to the model form section. Here you can set the required age limit for the field on the top. The default is 18. Then comes an alignment option. Below, you can edit the form placeholder and button text. Also, you can insert a redirect URL to redirect users that don't meet the age requirements. After that, let's go to the model footer section. Here, change the text in the footer text field and set the alignment as you want. In the additional section, there is an option named Model Close Button that lets you keep or remove the close button from the pop-up box. The button can be inside, outside or can be hidden. There are also two switchers, a close button delay show and a center position switcher. Turning on the first switcher lets you set a delay time by seconds using a scroll bar. Also, you can enable the center position switcher to set the position of the pop-up box to the center of your screen. Now, go to the Style tab. In the Model Close Button section, we'll change the close button background color from the options. Yellow looks fine there and white for the button color. Then let's set some border radius, add some padding to it. Next, go to the Model Header section, set the header background color to white and the text goes black. Let's add just the top padding to get some distance between the text and the boundary. You can always change the typography of the header text for a better view. Now go to the Model Content section and change the text color to full black. After that, change the typography along with the text size using the scroll bar. Go to the field section and change the width of the input field using the scroll bar here. You can change the spacing as well in the same way. Then let's change the text and placeholder color to yellow. Next, select border type to solid and add a thin border with 1 as the value. Again, put some yellow color on the border too. The background should be white for all of that. Then let's add some padding here and there. Also change the typography a bit. Now go to the submit button to customize it. First, change the background color to yellow. Then text goes white. 
We can use the typography option to make changes to the font. Then add panning to the button. After that, go to the model footer section and change the footer text to yellow. Let's add some padding to top and bottom to make it look nice. Change the typography as well. Lastly, go to the additional section to apply an overlay background color for a nice looking background shade. Enough to give the content more privacy. All done. Now hit the update button and let's check it out. Yup, that looks great and works fantastic. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Until next time.